this is Jordan Fisher from the Tech Center, and it's the moment you've all been waiting for, well, and me too. But anyway, today is build day. That's right, all the parts are here, we're all set, we're going to begin building. So first, we're going to start with the case. I'm going to take off the screws from this side of the case. There you go, this side of the case. And these are thumb screws, so they just come right out. There's one. There's two. Okay. Set those out of the way. Get this guy out. And hitch the case off. And we'll set that out of the way too. Alright, so everyone has a different method. I think I'm gonna go with the power supply first. Which of course is on the bottom of my stack. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, manuals and stuff. And there it is again. In case you guys haven't seen the other videos, which by the way, you can check out in the upper left hand corner. Or maybe it's your upper right, or maybe it's the lower, or maybe it's the lower right, you don't know. Anyway, we are going to install the power supply first. So, pro tip when you're installing your power supply in the bottom of the case, go like that and flip it over so that the fans are pointing to the bottom of the case. Okay. I believe there are screws in here somewhere. Ah, I know where they are. Okay. Up over here. And I don't have the list anymore as to what goes with what. So, we are going to win. So I spent about 10 minutes looking around trying to figure out which screws from the case go with the power supply, and then I found this, right in the power supply box. Yeah, that's right. Screws. So, I'm gonna go ahead and install those. Uh, wow, I can't see this. Let's flip it around so that I can see it. Aha, much better. Screwdriver. Very useful tool. Get it in there. And go with it. in there. By the way, yes. Pro tip, do the screws apart from each that are opposite each other first and don't tighten them all the way. And then you can go do the screws the other two and then you can tighten them all down just so that you get better balance. Everything just works out better that way. Ah! Lost it! There we go. So I did the top right one first, then I did the bottom left one. Now, it doesn't really matter which one I do next, I'm probably going to go. So, question for this video. What is your guys... I dropped another screw, just a second. Okay, like I said, question for this video. What would your guys dream build? Okay? What is your dream build? So you can list the specs for me, you can make your dream build on PC Part Picker and send me a link. Whatever you want to do, just tell me. What would your dream build be? Okay? For me, you gotta use a 5960X at the time of this video, if you're watching a year into the future or however long. Uh, the Core i7-5960X best processor on the market. It costs about a thousand dollars. Yeah, it's pretty insane. Anyway, so that would be my processor for CPU core. I'll probably have to go with the Corsair H110i GTX water cooler. It's a really nice cooler. It costs about a hundred dollars right now. So we're up to like a thousand one hundred. All right. And then, let's see, what would I do next? Motherboard, let's do motherboard. I would get a uh, Asus X99 Deluxe. Very nice motherboard. Anyway, I'll be right back. I'm done with that. But we'll keep talking about that in the middle. Next, we're going to get the motherboard out. And we're going to do some stuff with that. Install some various stuff. Okay, so we'll do that. Okay, so here's the motherboard. 
Yeah, so I was saying, the motherboard, I would get the ASUS X99 Deluxe. The motherboard was like $400. Can you believe it? The motherboard costs more than my entire computer. That's crazy. Um, yeah, but I would get that motherboard. It's a really nice motherboard. It's got all kinds of features. Touch the case. Pull the motherboard out. And graphics card. Gotta go. It's like next. Best graphics card on the market right now. It's like $1,500 or something insane. But it's amazing. So I'm gonna install the CPU in here first. Now, I've never installed a CPU before. So, this is gonna be interesting. Stay tuned. That's right. First time ever installing a CPU. So, pop that out right there. Find the header pin. It's the gold cornered one. But yes, right. Let's pop that in there. Push. There we go. So the CPU itself isn't the hard part. It's this guy right here. So this is actually super neat. It is the thermal base pre-applied. Now, I have no clue how to do this. I'll be back in a second, guys. So after reading the instructions and looking and playing around with it for a couple minutes, I did get the CPU cooler installed. Now I just need to plug it in. Anyway, where were we? Dream build. Yes, I would get a Titan X, of course, for my graphics. I mean, who wouldn't? definitely the best graphics card as of right now. It is... It's got to be over a thousand dollars. I don't know how much, but yeah, it's more than a thousand dollars. CPU flame plugged in. Now I'll do RAM. Um, the RAM, I would just go with like 64 gigabytes of RAM. What do you guys think? You know, that might be cool. Uh, I don't think it particularly matters which slot I put this in. I think we'll go with this one. And RAM, very easy to install. Just push it down and snap. Oh, let's do that. There. Both sides snapping when you push down. Locked in. There we go. Um, what else would you need? Let's see. Case. I would have to go with those new master cases. Those things are amazing. They truly are amazing. I love them. Maybe the Masterpiece Pro. Uh, Masterpiece 5 Pro. What do you think? Yeah, I think that would be a pretty safe choice. And what else? I don't know. That's about it for a dream build, you know? I would get my graphics card water cooled and stuff. Alright, so I'm going to put that down like that, so IO Shield is going to go just like this. Okay. I've never installed an IO Shield either, guys, so no new happening. I've heard they just snap it, but I think it's going to get better if I slot it. Stay better once the motherboard's in. Okay, that looks pretty good. Fits pretty well. Okay, now I'm going to do the graphics card. Pop this guy out. Yeah, the Radeon HD 7850 is a really nice card. I do think I'm going to overclock my graphics card. As for the CPU, I have heard the CPU runs hot, so probably not going to overclock it until I can get something like that. Hyper 212 Evo or something. Something along those lines. Um, if I stick in that slot, I'm going to need a pop of those two out. Now, I've never popped these out before. There's a lot of things I've never done before. But, you know what? That's what makes it first computer belt. Come on. Uh, well, I'll be right back once I figure out how to do this. After a little bit of work, I got those 
back panels out, whatever you want to call them. I'm not sure what they're officially called. So now we can install this lovely graphics card. I'm actually going to hold another board out for this part to get it down and get it seated. There we go. Again, very simple installation. Just push it in and then lift the fan out of the way again. Put this guy in and there should be some screws around here. They should be. Oh, look at that. They are right here. Um, okay. I don't think it that much matters which ones I use. I'm going to go ahead and these out. Um, there's some that look like circles. There's others that look like that. I'll go ahead and find out which screws there are, and then I'll be right back. Yes. So we're back. I've finished installing the graphics card, installed a hard drive, and I've tested it, and yes, it works. You can be thrilled. Yay! It works. Okay. So, I'm going to do a few more things, like cable management, and installing operating system, and stuff like that. But, we're basically done here. So, yeah, guys, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. Also, you can check out other videos in the unboxing series up here in your upper right corner and we'll see you next time bye